Hi, in this video, I'll be giving you a few portrait hacks to create better portraits. Hi guys, just a reminder that this video is a teaser video of the much bigger uh, tutorial or module of the Digital Paint Academy called Advanced Rendering. And I'll tell you all about it after this video, but for now, let's watch this one. All right, in this video, I wanna give you two awesome tricks, two of my favorite tricks on how to make pop illustration and give a little bit more realism, especially to a black and white image. So the first thing you wanna do is make sure that you have your whole illustration onto one layer. For this really cool shortcut, you simply have to click on the top layer that you have with the eye open and do the command Alt Shift E. That's going to create a, um, a top layer with your whole illustration. Uh, so you'll be able to put the effects on this one. And then I wanna show you the first trick. The first trick I wanna show you is how to make sure that there's a little bit more contrast, a little bit more sharpness on all the features. So what you wanna do is go over filter and then what you wanna choose is the sharpen and then on sharp mask. This is going to open this little window and then you'll be able to look at the difference. So you'll have the amount, radius and threshold by playing with those and usually just playing a little bit, I'm gonna add just a lot of radius and amount so you, you see the difference. You see what it's gonna do basically is add a little bit of contrast, but when you add just a little bit of it and you click on the preview to see the before and after. So right now I think I could add just a little bit more, a little bit more radius and do the before and after. This is really subtle. You might not even be able to actually see it on screen, but you see, it's just adding a little bit more sharpness where my illustration looks a little bit blurry adding that unsharp mask is going to make it just a little bit more sharp. And this is great, especially when you add this, this point of this illustration, you've been using a lot of soft round brush during the process of rendering. And so it created just a little bit more softness everywhere. Doing this filter is going to take that out. So I'm going to press okay. And it's going to be very subtle, but just enough to see a difference between sharpness and blurriness. The second trick I want to give you is to give a little bit more realism, especially to a black and white image. When you see the old days black and white image, there was a lot of grain, static and noise on the images. And it was creating that little grain, which is really, really nice. Well, because we are working digitally, we can actually add that ourselves at the end. Once again, you want to go over filter for this one and you want to choose noise and simply add noise. Now, too much of this effect is gonna look unnatural, but just a little bit is also gonna help to make sure that it doesn't look so digital. Like I'm gonna take it out here. You see that all that part right here is very, very soft and very digital looking. Like, like the nose here, there's a few lines. Those will tell anybody that knows about digital painting that this is a digital painting, which is not a problem itself, but you know, it just says it. If I add a little bit of noise, it's gonna mask a little bit those parts and make sure that the illustration itself looks just more finished. So adding just a little bit of noise, not too much. If you're adding too much, it's just gonna look uh, destroyed, just adding enough so we barely see it. Like on this on this one, I think I'm gonna add something like seven. It's gonna be perfect. I'm gonna click okay. And so we went from there to there. And those are just final pro tips that I can give you to finish a grayscale image. So you can go ahead and try them on your illustration and see the difference for yourself. And that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like I was saying before the video, this is a teaser of the advanced rendering module of the Digital Painting Academy. The module has well over 20 videos with techniques to help you perfect your rendering. It's also a clear step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a realistic portrait from sketch to final details. And so if you want to render your paintings like a pro, this is the module for you. I'll make sure to put a link in the description of this video. And for the rest, I hope you enjoyed this freebie of the Digital Painting Academy. If you don't want to miss the other one, make sure to subscribe. And for the rest, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Happy painting.